Hello once again, this is Electro Tekken here with part 3 and this should be our final part. So we're gonna go through this quick. So we stopped at um, line 38 on my own. So we added a open curly bracket. So now we're going to press enter we're going to indent. Alright. So here we're going to type the if statement just to check if the player that spawned is an NCP, NPC. So we're going to type if open sorry open bracket is player NPC. Sorry. open bracket close bracket close bracket in between the open and close bracket we're going to type player ID we're going to go to the next line we're going to indent one more time actually we're not going to indent I'm going to go back oopsie I'm going to open curly bracket And then we're going to go to the next line. We're going to go type new NPC in small name. Now I'm not sure what this is called, but you can see what it is. I don't know what it is. We're going to type this in caps lock max underscore player underscore name. And at the end of this, we're going to put semicolon. We're going to press enter. We're going to type get player name. We're going to open curly bracket player ID, comma, NPC name, comma, size of open bracket, close bracket, in between NPC name. Then we're going to add an S. Close bracket and have that semicolon. That's to get the play um the NCP's name. Now we're going to go to set player skin. Open close bracket player ID comma and here we're going to press space and we're going to type in the ID for the skin. So once again we're going to go to um script king and I'm going to go to the skins section and I want a taxi cab driver skin so I'm just going to fly to these pretty quickly it's a pilot a lot of skins on this game, huh? Don't want to take up too much time. Okay, did they pass him? That's next. That's a limo driver. Did they pass him? Oh. Okay. Seven. Wow. Okay. So we're going to type in seven. And then we're going to go at the end and type semicolon. We're going to press enter. And now we're going to type an next if function. So we're going to say if, open bracket, exclamation mark, str. CMP open bracket name I mean sorry NPC name comma space um quotation marks m m Dave cl 
close it, the quotation marks. True. That's a comma and true, sorry. Close, close. So that's close two close brackets. We're going to do open curly bracket. Press enter. Put player in vehicle. And then open bracket player ID. Comma space my first vehicle comma sorry sorry my first NPC vehicle if we didn't put that NC NPC we're gonna get a error space zero which is the first driver actually the driver's seat of the vehicle open bracket I mean close bracket sorry and semicolon we're gonna press enter we're going to set player color player ID now since I don't have the define for white I'm going to type it in because I know it as 0 X F F F F F F F close bracket and actually it's supposed to be um capital F's. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There we go. Enter. Now we're going to close this function here. Then we're gonna press enter if sorry not in caps. If open bracket exclamation mark S C R C M P open bracket close bracket that yeah, close bracket going in between those NPC name comma space quotations Dave We're going to get out the estimation marks comma true so that's if the NCP name is Dave we're going to open curly bracket on the next line we're gonna go on the next line again and then we're going to attach 3d text label to player open bracket bot with a B big O I mean big B info and then we're going to do comma space player ID comma we got some more variables 0 0.0 0 0.0 0 0.0, 0 .0. open bracket close brackets all and semicolon I'm going to press enter we're going to do a curly bracket close press enter again and we're going to return one press enter again enter again sorry after press enter we're gonna put an S closure press enter return one again press enter press box space close the curly bracket so we have closed off this whole statement with that and if we compile it we're going to save it as whatever we want to name it so we're going to put taxi filter and we're going to save it and we're going to compile it we should get at least three hours all right so the reason why we're going to get these three hours because I didn't define some items so I'm going to fix those right now now under here